So I spent most of the previous video giving you ideas on how to keep a player on the table even if their character dies. But what if the exact opposite situation comes up? Maybe you're a player, your character is fine, the story is evolving naturally, but you want to leave a D&D game for your own personal reasons. You may be hesitant because you think you will ruin the game for everyone else, or you may be feeling guilty that the story will be disrupted if you remove your character from it. But D&D is a game, and games are meant to be fun. If you're not enjoying a game anymore, you shouldn't be feeling obligated to play it for anyone else's sake. So, how do you remove yourself from a table of D&D without causing any trouble and without feeling like you've done something wrong? Let's talk about that today. First and foremost, if somehow you ended up in a shitty D&D group, if you feel disrespected, uncomfortable, threatened, or anything that seriously crosses your boundaries and you have serious issues with other players or the DM, you don't owe anyone anything. You can just leave a table, give an explanation, don't give an explanation, that's up to you and how you feel comfortable going about it. But seriously, if they have a problem and they are not willing to solve it, it's not your responsibility to make their life easier. You owe it to yourself to respect your own boundaries. You don't owe it to them to respect their game if they are not respecting you first. So you can just sit up, leave and not care about their story and their game since they didn't care about you in the first place. As with any other relationship, a D&D group can consist of good people or not so good people and it's up to you to decide what is healthy and good for you and do what is best for you without thinking about the game first. So yeah, let's take this out of the way before we go on and talk about the ways you can leave a table that is not problematic and that does deserve your respect and honesty. Now, if that's not the case and your situation is different, there are ways to leave a D&D table that will not cause any trouble to the rest of the players and the DM. If you have to leave a D&D table because your life is changing or something is happening that you cannot control, or maybe you want to leave a table but the reasons are not that serious, you just don't mix well with the other players or you prefer a different playstyle of D&D, that's okay too. You still don't have to keep playing a game that you don't enjoy and that doesn't mean that you are a bad person or the other people are bad people, it just means that you don't mix well and you prefer something different in your life. In this case though, I feel that these people do deserve your respect and it's nice to give them a warning that you are leaving the table and maybe give them some space to deal with it in-game and out-of-game and maybe keep the friendships and keep in touch with these people even if you don't play in the same table anymore. Especially if the game you're playing is story-centered, it is a nice gesture to give time to the rest of the players and the DM to come up with a nice way that will uh, give a reason to your character to leave the rest of the group without disrupting the story. It can be done, but you may have to give them a little bit of time, maybe one or two sessions. That shouldn't be too much for you if indeed the reasons are not serious, as I have mentioned before. So it's a good settlement that you don't cross your own boundaries, but you also give the rest of the group the respect and the warning that they need to keep their story going and change whatever needs to be changed in order to accommodate your own choice. If you do that, if you're open and honest with them and give them a reasonable amount of time to deal with it, everything should be fine and no one should have any problem with that. Maybe it's even something that can be fixed and you don't know about it. If you're not open and honest about it and if you don't discuss it with the rest of the group, you can never know. Just give them a chance to understand what's going on without blaming anyone, yourself or the others and communicate to them what you're feeling and why you are leaving the table or why something is changing. This is a nice way to face things in life as well and in D&D it can work wonders. If everyone is reasonable about it, it shouldn't cause any trouble and no one should have any issue with that, your choice to leave a table or to stop playing D&D altogether. So yeah, I realize that this looks like a simple problem to have, but I have witnessed people playing the game even if they don't enjoy it because they think that they owe it to the rest of the group. 
And yes, if you commit it to a long-term campaign, you somehow have the obligation to stick to it. But if it was a year ago or two years ago and things have changed, that's okay too. If you play and you're not enjoying it, you may be causing a bigger problem to your table than you imagine. The atmosphere is different when not everyone is having fun and somehow we can all pick up the energy if we feel that someone is not really enjoying the game and is not really having fun. So talking about it can actually be a better solution than you may be thinking. Anyway, I hope you did find this video useful and if I forgot to mention something, definitely talk about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like before you go and consider subscribing for more videos like this. I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, be safe, be happy and keep going for your dreams. Bye.